What's going on guys, Apple Tides here. Uh, today I'm here with a new tutorial. Uh, I don't think I've done one of these in a while. If I have, then I'm probably just being a flid. Um, but yeah, uh, it's the trap code form particles into the gun, uh, into the clip, sorry, uh, whatever. So uh, yeah, that's what we're doing today. But first of all, I just want to quickly sh uh, say something. It's um, I don't think I'm that far off how long I've been on YouTube, this channel for a year. Uh, and you know, we've got 150 something subs and nearly over 40,000 views. So I could honestly not ask for more. Um, I'm always going to be happy doing YouTube, no matter how many subs I've got. I mean, I was happy when I hit 10 subs. I'm still going to be happy when I'm at 200 subs or what, whatever. Um, I'm nearly at 40,000 video views as well, and all that in just like just under a year. I mean, I think I started this channel last year in October, and we've still got just over a month to go. So it's going to be awesome. So, what do you guys think of a community montage? Um, I know I've not got many subs compared to some other editors that do community montages um, but what do you guys think put a comment in down below I uh, honestly will not care if you say no because it honestly doesn't faze me at all I've just had an idea of doing one and I'm not sure if you guys wanted to do it I know I've got quite a lot of gamers as my subs so I'm obviously going to want to do one but it's up to you guys uh, please you know put a comment down below if you think I should do it I'm editing my zero limits tritage at the minute so it will probably uh, be mixed in with that. Um, I'll have to edit zero sometimes, and then obviously edit the community montage um, because I don't know if zero is going to be out before my you before my one year. So we'll have to see what happens. But what do you guys think of a community montage with all of you guys' clips in it? So just leave a comment down below whether you think yes or no, and I'll just put it down to how many comments I get um, depending on how many is. So say I get more yeses than noes, I will do one. If I get more noes than yeses, then I won't do one, fair enough, so anyway, we'll jump right into the tutorial today, so we have a clip here, uh, it's just a use or lose, our terminal uh, from DAB, I think you've probably seen it in one of my OCs, so what you want to do with this clip is you want to make two compositions of it, and you want to make a main comp as well, so not the main comp at the start, but then you've got these two compositions, uh, you want to make one of them, just rename it and call it mask. So you know the difference between the two. So in the first comp, just find where you want the clip to start. I'd imagine you want the form to come in when he's got his pistol out like that, the pistol switch. Um, so you want to snap it uh, to there and then bring it forward to there. So obviously you want the form to come in when he's got his pistol out, his tack knife out. And then in the mask, you just want in the mask comp, you just want to find the exact same point. Uh, it's about there, isn't it? Yep. And instead of snapping it, you want to right-click time and click on freeze frame so what that means it doesn't move at all so that's all good guys what you want to do now is obviously drag your main in your main comp drag in the the one that hasn't called mask the actual clip and just drag it what two seconds in just snap it over to two seconds in you want the clip to start about two seconds in um, so then come over to the mask and you want to click on the pen tool zoom in a bit here and you want to just mask out the gun so I'm just going to quickly do this. Obviously, guys, if you're doing this on a montage or something, make it look better. Obviously, get all the pinpoints proper. Make it look really nice. I'm just doing this crappy mask for the sake of the tutorial because it's not going to be great. But I don't want to spend loads of time. You guys don't really want to watch me mask out a gun uh, for the sake of this one tutorial. So you guys, obviously, it will look better than mine. Will. It will probably look better than mine will. But... Um, just uh, take your time with it, make sure it's perfect. And yeah, so once you've done that, obviously snap it back like that. And then just click off it so you know what it looks like. Mine is looking quite crap like that. But just make sure if you toggle transparency grid, just make sure there's nothing behind it. There's no black or there's not a clip behind it or anything. Just make sure it's just that. Um, so yes, now you want to come back into the main comp. Now you've masked it out and drag the mask on the top. Uh, and obviously... Uh, now what you want to do is where the actual clip starts, just zoom in a bit, and you want to just snap the clip there and then go back a couple of frames, and, uh, maybe one frame, and then snap it again. So honestly, you want the you want a little time as possible. If you can have one frame, that'd be great. So one, 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 like that. One frame where there's no there's no background at all, it's just the gun. Because you don't really want to see that, do you? You want it to go from the form into the gun straight there so that all you want is one frame between where there's nothing 
where there's the gun and then where the clip comes in that's what you guys want so obviously make sure there's like just literally one frame in between it so after that guys you want to create a new solid doesn't matter what color just call it whatever you want and call it form and then snap it just before the clip just before that one frame comes in so literally look you've got the form and literally there's nothing there because uh, the forms overlapping it which is really nice as well that, that works out in your favor as well so if you can get them to overlap that'd be even better because you don't actually even see the blackness at all so yes so after that guys you want to just type in form on your effects and presets trap code form it is a third party plugin but if you want the trap code suite for free go on my channel size x and y in the base form to so 128720 and the particles in z down to 1 so you basically just got this like 2D grid, um, and it's 128720, which matches the area of your composition. So you want to close down base form, and you want to come down to layer maps, click on color and alpha, and then functionality RGBA to RGBA, and the map over to XY, and then layer. You want to select the use or lose episode eight shot, and then mask. Make sure you click the mask composition. Now in here you probably see it. Uh, we've got bits of the uh, gun showing with the form really nice but obviously you can't really see it so we're going to go to base form again and we're going to crank up the particles in x and y to 1280 720 which again matches our composition settings now you can see there it's got the gun now that isn't built up with the actual clip that's built up with particles F basically trap code form has used every particle i told it to use or you're telling it to use to build up that gun so you can see it doesn't look very it looks a bit light looks a bit different to what that one looks like looks a bit lighter but basically that is how you do it that is uh, form is going to build up this and then obviously go into the clip so now you've got it all built up you've got the gun made out of uh, particles you want to scroll down to fractal field and then you want to go to displace and then once you've found where displace is just there uh, you want to come to where the gun where the clip basically starts which is here and then keyframe the displace and then come back about one and a half seconds uh, and then keyframe the displace at 1000 or more depending on how many particles you want and that's what it does guys now you've keyframed it it's going to start off like that and it's going to build up and build up and build up to the clip now I can run preview it and show you what we'll do in a second but first of all I just want to change down the flow evolution to about five or six um, what that does is if you've got the flow evolution at 50 it will spin uh, the, pa the particles will spin around in a circle before they build up and it's not kind of what you don't really want that so you don't want it to spin like 50 times you want to spin about 10 or if you want it to spin at all say 10 or 15 or 20 uh, but if you don't want it to spin at all say about 5 or 6 or maybe even uh, anywhere between 0 and 6 uh, you don't want it to spin at all um, but it looks better with a little bit of spin because uh, everything looks better like that but that's about how you do all of the form uh, if you want to add anything else to it you can uh, you can add more if you go into the particle you can add uh, this the particle size like that but obviously once you've once you've got that far it doesn't look uh, doesn't look as good you keep I usually keep it at one uh, if you want to bump it up a little bit you can change it to two just makes it brighter and there's more particles basically uh, but one looks the best. You can actually change the color of the particles if you want. Uh, like the little particles here, you can see some are red, but um, don't worry about the color because we can sort that out in a minute. Now, if you want it to look smoky, then obviously keep this like that. You can add a CC rector, uh, rector CC vector blur. Um, you can add a vector blur to it, uh, which just blurs it out a bit more, makes it look a bit more smoky. Change the vector map. Whoops, change the thing to alpha, property to alpha, and then change the amount to what about 15. And all that does is blur it a bit like that. Um, maybe down a bit. 10, it's up to like 10. Uh, that'll just blur it a bit, make it look a little bit more smoky, but I don't tend to do that with particles. I just tend to add a trap code shine, which just colorizes it a bit. Just change the transfer mode to soft light, uh, and then change the color to whatever colors you like so I'm going to take some of the presets here we've got RGB or which is just uh, black red green and blue um, there's some other stuff like magic and uh, USA blue red and white um, 
but yeah, I'm going to keep it as that. You can change the boost light up if you want it to shine more, uh, but I'm going to keep it at zero. But other than that, guys, that's basically how you do the track code form. I'm going to ram ramp preview in a sec. One other thing you can do, guys, is add a curves. Just go to RGB, change it to alpha, and just bump up the alpha to make it a little bit brighter. Um, but that's the only other thing you can do, uh, other than you know boosting up brightness, contrast, and all that smeg. So other than that, guys, I'm going to ramp preview. I'll pause it, and I'll be back in a minute. Okay, guys, so it's run previewed. I'm just going to quickly scrub through it. Uh, you can see here it starts as particles and then just, you know, plays a bit at the start there and then comes down into the gun and the gun's there. I'll quickly just run preview it one more time so you can see it properly. <laughs> like that, uh, um, I need to change the comp sense to 59.94, but as again, it still looks exactly the same. Uh, that's basically what it does. Uh, that's how you take particles from chocolate form and build them up into the gun, bring it into your clip. Uh, so yeah, that's it guys. Thanks for watching. Uh, let me know what you think about community montage down below. Uh, other than that guys, leave a like for me. If you haven't subscribed, hit that button below. Uh, above, sorry. <laughs> and other than that guys, I hope you're having a great day and I'll see you guys later.